The year was 1945. After two devastating world wars, Allied powers fresh from a costly victory decided the world cannot afford another war. And so on October 24th that year, the United Nations was born to prevent war, uphold human rights and international law, and promote social progress. It began with 51 member states, but as colonies dissolved and new nations emerged, the number has grown to 193, each country with a seat today at the UN General Assembly. And that's what the UN does. It brings 193 countries together, like we do every September in this very hall uh, where we're standing, where countries that may never speak to each other uh, during, during the year find themselves literally sitting side by side. Where the General Assembly is the UN's main body, the Security Council is its mightiest arm. It can impose sanctions and embargoes, decide when to use military force, and refer war crime cases to the UN's International Criminal Court. The Secretariat is the nuts and bolts of the whole operation, helmed at the top by Ban Ki-moon, the UN's eighth Secretary General. The Secretary General is not a head of state. He doesn't have powers of a head of state. Um, what he does is he has the power of the bully pulpit, he has the power to speak out, and he has convening power. That means the Secretary General can bring very, very important people together to source money, troops and supplies for UN missions and resolve conflicts. Lilingtan, CCTV, New York.